Hey guys, it's Steventon Holland. Uh, I'm so excited that you get to go on this journey with me today, December 19th, 2017. Uh, we're somewhere in Georgia. Uh, my birth mom is about an hour away from here. Uh, my adopted mom is here. She raised me for the 35 years of my life and they're about to meet. So I'm so excited that you get to come on this journey with me. Buckle up. State. Yesterday was a drive, you know, again, that uh, was more of a travel day, I guess. You know, it, not that it wasn't real, you know, it was happening, but definitely today for me is a little bit more exciting. You know, the, today's the day that we actually get to, uh, Mom, have you have you meet Glenda, you know, my birth mom Love for the her. first time, Mama Glenda. She was so thankful for you for more reasons than one, and one being the fact that Steve, uncle had some healing because he finally got to have a kinfolk with him you know that he could talk to and express his feelings and all and, and understand it was a god thing too that that i was a believer that he was a believer i was 27 years old when he yeah. got to meet me for the first time and and that was you know mama glinda uh, his sister had gone to her to his trailer uh, back in 82 I think you know when she was pregnant with me and then she ran away and he never he didn't see her again till 1992 and he never knew what happened to me so uh, I think that was there was hurt in him when we talk about that healing you know he didn't he never knew he knew he, that there was possibly a nephew out there but didn't know what had happened so uh, I mean you can imagine I, can, I can't imagine you know well I guess I can you know not knowing where my birth, birth mom was for 27 years, but but anyways, it was it's it's really cool. We're here. I'm so excited. Let me, uh, I'm gonna call them and let them know we're here. Hi, here, Maria speaking. Hey, Maria, uh, this is Stevenson Holland, uh, Glenda Holt's uh, son. I was calling to see, uh, speak to Miss Joanna, or Tracy, Miss Tracy. No, it's it's Miss Teresa, the social worker. I'll get it right here in a second. Okay, Teresa. Okay, one moment. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Alright, thank you. Bye. Alright, so she said we could come on in. She said she's running the store. They have a snack, like a snack thing oh, that they do, and so she's running the, the store. Place. Yeah, <laughs> the honey honey buns and uh, and uh, regular coke. So you guys have that in common. You like regular coke, don't you? You don't do the diet stuff. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you so much uh, for life. That's even more of a statement, uh, God, even today as I think about how thankful I am that, that you chose life for me uh, through Linda Sue Holt. But I, I just pray that 
your spirit move today, that you're honored and glorified, and uh, that you get all the honor and praise and glory from today's uh, interaction and conversation. Uh, God, I, I selfishly pray that Glenda just allow her to be in a good mental state today, uh, God, that she can remember this and uh, and it can be healing for her, uh, even some closure if she needs that. Um, and God, I just love you and I thank you for who you are in your precious name. Amen. 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 All right. Linda, I want you to meet my special friend. Her name is Joyce Holland. This is the lady who you gave when you put me up for adoption. She's raised me for 35 years. Can I have a hug, Linda? Yeah. Oh, I love you so I love much. You, too. you are so precious. Martin. I just want you to know what an awesome person you are. I admire you so much. You're a very strong person. Thank you. And you've got a wonderful son. I know it. I know it. <laughs> you are so sweet. <laughs> so how have you been doing? Fine. Been doing fine. Good. And I'm fixing to have twins. Oh, oh my, my goodness. So they're going to be girls, I think. Oh, I think, I think uh, one boy was enough for her. I think she decided she wants girls now. I love the name you gave him. Stephen William. You're supposed to have been Stephen then William, wasn't it? And somebody just pushed it together. <laughs> but we left it. We left it because you gave it to him. They tried to get her to change my name and she said nope. Uh, his mama gave him that name and that's and we're gonna keep it. So uh, I'm thankful that I got to keep my name that you gave me. Your brother, Uncle Steve, he loves that too that I get I got his name and uh, and William, right? Mm -hmm. Wasn't that your dad's name, my papa or what would I call him? Papa, Peepa, Grandpa, whatever, <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> his second daughter, the middle daughter, uh, favors you a lot. She's got the dark hair and, and her shape of her face and all. So you would be so proud of her because she favors her Gigi. She calls you Gigi. I wanted you to have some time to for a special day to meet meet uh, my my other mom. You know what I'm saying? I got I got two mamas. I got a birth mama and I got one adopted mama that you gave me life and she cared for me for my life. What do you think about all this? Is it overwhelming? Yeah. I'm about to cry. It's okay if you cry. I have to cry if you want to. I thought I would, but I'm just so excited to see you and meet you till I reckon it took over. <laughs> hey, I was crying when I, right, when I walked through the door. It's okay. Because I'm thankful for this moment. We've been waiting a long time. Did you see my shirt? Grateful and blessed because of Glenda. <laughs> You're a special, special person. But I love you, and I've told you that. But you're you're my hero. You gave you gave life to me against all odds. A lot of people say I shouldn't be here, but I am, and I'm, and I'm thankful for that. Mama Joyce, that she lost the baby about two what two years two years before they they uh, before you gave birth to me and put me up for adoption, and and you filled a hole in their heart that uh, that you didn't even you didn't know all this was gonna happen. But they were longing for one more little boy. They wanted one more little boy. They had four kids of their own because of the gift that you gave them. You fixed that hole up in their lives. You so never you're know. a very strong lady. There was a reason for that because now you're here blessing these people and Miss Teresa. They love you. Yeah, they do. I call you Mama Glenda, you know that, but um, when I met you for the first time, 
what I think it was six years ago, I was 27, um, you told me that, that you're thankful that you met your son and that you love Jesus. And I tell everybody, I said, listen, I know because my mama loves Jesus and I love Jesus, there's going to come a day where all this pain and, you know, all this, you know, relationship and distance between us, one day it's not going to matter anymore because uh, there's, there's a place called heaven that we look forward to. Uh, what, are, what are you thankful for Jesus for today? Like, thankful for God being here and being there. Oh, thank you, Glenda. That means so much to me. I just, I have been so anxious to get to come. We just uh, kept trying to plan and, and fix it where, you know, it'd be just right. And today was that magic day. I'll never forget it. I remember you singing um, Amazing Grace the first day you met Stephen, didn't you? Yes. You sure did. I love me and Stephen Dunn. And uh, your brother. Mm -hmm. I've got it on tape. I get to listen to it every once in a while. It's special. You've got a beautiful voice. Yes, that's where he gets his singing voices from you, reckon? I bet that's so. <laughs> I wish. Uh... I wish my dad could have met you. Um, one of the main reasons that I didn't, this didn't happen so, or quicker than I wanted, or you know, it took a while to get, is because my mom was caring for my dad. He had Alzheimer's, and it was, you know, she loved on him and took care of him. So we knew that he wasn't going to last long. So we we kind of let mom love on him and take care of him. And um, then once she's she's had to deal with that, they were married for what, 53 years? Together almost 60 years, so she lost the love of her life, so it was, she was dealing with a lot, and I wanted her to be able to process that before this was a big moment for you guys to meet, you know? So, but I wish you could have met him. He's, uh, he was my dad. Is there anything, Mom, that you I just wanted said to tell her I loved her, and I think people. she's such a strong person, and this has just made my day to get to meet Glenda Sue Holt. I'm thankful for you. Well, we're thankful for you even more so, hon. I love you. And I, I just, uh, I wanted you to be able to meet my other hero. Um, if it wouldn't have been for you two right here, I wouldn't have the life I have today. So I'm thankful that, that this meeting got to happen. And I, I didn't want to, uh, I wanted to make it happen before I lost either one of you, you know, just to know how much I love you both. Well, I wanted to tell you how much I loved you too. I love you too. And you gave me the greatest gift anyone could give another person, and that's your precious son. And I love you so much. Well, I know you're uncomfortable with these cameras, so I just, I want, I wanted to be able to capture this moment on film, I love for my family, our, our family. Remember when we first met, you said I got a big family I look forward to seeing. So hopefully this way they can they can meet you again and, and hopefully one day maybe we can get them down here to say hi to you. Does that sound good? Can I have one more hug? <laughs> she likes to hug. Oh, I love her so much and so thankful for her. You're a special lady. We'll come back and see you again, okay? Oh, oh me. You can, you can take these hugs all day, right? <laughs> Love you. You know how much? <laughs> to the moon and back. Right? That's what my sister says, to the moon and back. That's a long way. It'd take a long time to get there and back. You know that? Yes, sir. All right. I love you. So how do you think it went? I had mixed emotions. I, I, did, I, don't I did too. Know. It was kind of like getting ready for Christmas and then maybe kind of being a little bit disappointed in the fact that she seemed distant. You know, she didn't talk a lot and um, or show expression a lot until uh, later in the conversations and all. But I was so glad to get to meet her. Just get to hug her day. That moment whenever tears filled her eyes and she talked about how how much uh how thankful she was for us to be there i think it, it was all worth it hey guys uh wow i mean what can i say man god is so good uh you see 
my moms got to come together and meet each other for the first time, man, God is huge. And uh, he cares about all of us. He cares about the small things, the big things. Can I just encourage you today, if you're broken, uh, you're not dead. There's hope and there's restoration for you. And it comes through a relationship with Jesus.